Greetings, folks. Greetings to you all. Happy Easter. Happy holiday to you guys. Those of you, of course, um, who celebrate uh, Easter. Uh, happy Easter to you. Um, for today's video, I'm basically going to do a little tutorial on this application that I have here, or this application that was introduced to me by my fellow partner, Mr. Udin, Jamal Udin ichimaru -san. Um, He told me about this program a week ago, um, last week sometime, but I didn't have I didn't have a chance to uh, get down, you know, sit down and um, go through it thoroughly. Um, it was just last night um, after I fed my daughter. I looked at it. And I said, you know what? Let me check out this trip lingo here. Look at it more in depth. And um, it's it's very interesting. It's a very interesting application. Um, it's more like a, um, let me open it. It is a um, digital phrase book type. So I'm going to just go through it, show you guys. Um, I think it can be very useful, especially if you're starting on language. So it's like your, it's, like I said, it's a phrase book, but digitally. So hold on for a second. Let me, um, let me close this door here. All right, so basically, um, trip lingo is what it's called, and you have, let's see, these are the languages available. I'm not sure how long this application exist, existed and when it was made, but these are the languages they currently have. They have Brazilian, Portuguese, Chinese, e uh, e Egypt, Egyptian Arabic, uh, French, German, Greek, Dutch, Hungarian, Hindi, Farsi, Hebrew, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Spanish, Polish, Russian, African, Spanish, Swahili, Thai, Turkish, Vietnamese. So basically they um, they did right by making sure they got the main languages, you know, the most common languages that people want to learn. And then you got some other ones, some less commonly learned languages such as, well, I don't know if I can say Swahili, but Afrikaans, I will say that's probably a less common, less commonly learned language. Afrikaans and what else? Uh, maybe Farsi. Not too many people learn Farsi. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure they'll probably add some more languages. But yeah, this is what they have. So I want to do... Um, I had Korean open because that's the one that uh, Jamal was telling me about. But I, I believe they are all the same. I'll go through a couple of these um, for you. So let me open up the Korean first. And... Um, Basically, this is what it looks like. You have your Korean, uh, if you have phrases, Wi-Fi dollar, uh, translator, safety. At the bottom, you have learn, culture, tools. So I haven't played with everything. Um, so let me see, like Wi-Fi dollar. I, I haven't used that. Um, let's go to phrases. Let's let's see what's phrases. So with just the basics, my safety phrases, essential business phrases, favorites, they have essentials, all this stuff down here, but you see that these are gray because you have to have you have to upgrade. Okay, so you have to have a dis, um, a subscription, and um, yeah, I haven't. I might even subscribe to this, but like I said, I I, um, I have to see. But uh, this is um, let me see here. Let's start with the okay, just the basics. So where's the bathroom? Yes, no. How are you? I don't understand. So like I like I told you before, it's basically a phrase book. So I'll go to where's a bathroom, and this is how it looks. They have formal, casual, slang, and crazy. Okay, so you got your star here. You can favorite this. So they give you the Romanize here. Um, let me see here. Let me start with the formal first. So this is the formal. In literal translation, they give you, would you tell me where the bathroom is? And there it is. And at, at the bottom, you see context, slow, normal, and phonetic. Now, I know most, most of you probably already said, oh, they're not, they're not using that Hangul. They're not using the actual script. Oh, well. It's right here. You see down at the bottom where it says phonetic? Click on phonetic. Bam. There you go. That's the um, script for that. And then you hit X, close it out. You can go back and forth. You see that? So that's great. Um, 
uh, let's see, formal. So this is what they would say in a formal setting. So you got slow and normal. Let's see how, how it sounds when it's slow. Premium needed. The, uh, the slow audio with full language pack. Oh, okay. Wow, wow. Let's go to normal speed. Hold on, hold on. I think my volume's down. Can't hear it. Okay, you guys probably can hear it. Um, I'm not wearing any earphones. I'm just doing this video without them. Um, I can't. I can barely hear it, but I think it's still. You still. You guys should still be able to hear it since it's recording. But that's the formal, and then context. You go to context. It, when you are invited to a company director's house, you may use this phrase. It sounds very formal while making you appear humble and respectful. So I thought that was pretty cool that they added some um, culture notes there. That's 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 um that's cool. Uh what about casual? Literal translation, where is the bathroom? And then you got your audio here, I'll play that. Oh, that's slow. Okay, I meant to put normal. Okay. Context. Koreans don't like to announce that they need to use the washroom in front of others. You may quietly direct this phrase to your host. That's a good culture note. Okay, that's just casual. What about slang? Literal translation for that is the bathroom, which direction? Normal speed. Okay. Context. You may whisper this phrase to your friend. It is very informal, so you don't want to speak this unfinished sentence too loudly. Okay. And let's go to crazy. Crazy. Um, <laughs> as you can see, I favored this one. This one, I thought it was pretty cool. So, basically, um, let me explain. Crazy is the this... Like you, you don't, you can't learn this in a book. They don't. This is like you, you need, you either have to learn it from a Korean friend, or someone Korean who know who's fluent in the language, or you, you know, you lived over there in the country and you just heard it, you know, in a in a very informal setting. This is something that you have to um, have contact. You, you would need contact, direct contact with the with the culture and the people in order to learn the stuff like this, like crazy. That's what the crazy stands for. Um, little translation, I'm in a hurry for a toilet. How's, how does that sound? And what about context? Children in class use this phrase with their teachers. Or an adult says this to a coffee shop server. Um, you don't go to restaurants just to use the washroom. Many public buildings or, many public buildings or coffee. Okay, great culture note. So that's that. That's what it looks like for all the phrases. Okay. They do that for all everything. So if you go to what's your name, for example, you have the same thing. Formal, casual, slang, and crazy. And then you have the phonetics for them. So this this is a good this is a good tool. Good tool. What they say about name crazy. This is a very polite way of asking. Since Koreans don't use names very much, they will appreciate this question rather than asking their names. Only when you are exactly the same age or older and close can you call someone by their names. See, that's stuff like that is important. Um, okay, so let's see. What else do we have? So that, those are phrases. What's this option here? All features. Okay. Uh, so just the basics, favorites. Essential business. Um, let me see here. Just the basics. Okay, what are, what else do they have here? Okay, this translator is really interesting. It says, tap the buttons below and speak clearly into the microphone to translate your voice. Swipe the screen to view past translations you've done. Okay. Um, so basically, as you can see, you have the um, English to Korean. If you want to direct, if you want to, let's say, type, let me see. Hold on. 
Okay, so you want to say, for example, um, what can we say? I want to play Mortal Kombat. So translate that. How would they say that? Okay. Chigum Chimion Joke. Combat. They really are trying. So I don't know. I, I, um, Chissing Haleonan. Yeah, that looks like. That doesn't look so formal. Um, let me see. So probably it's not 100% accurate. But uh, check this out. If you want to do voice, oops, hold on. They 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 they're getting me. Hold on for a second. <laughs> I didn't say that. If you want to voice books on a date, naked or getting me on up. <laughs> I didn't even say that. That's funny. Um. Okay. So you better you got to make sure you know what you want to say before you press that button. So I'm about to say what I just typed. I want to play Mortal Kombat now. I want to go to Korea tomorrow. I went to Korea yesterday. I ate bulgogi last night with my family. Okay. Let's see. That's interesting. Oh, they 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 didn't get it blue gobi. I didn't say that. But yeah, I thought that was very interesting. And then they have this um now I've never used this before, but they have this live translator. They said need live assistance connect to a live translator in under 30 seconds. So I guess Obviously, if it's a live translator, you will get a 100% accurate translation if it's something that you really need uh, translated. But I would imagine that you need to have um, a, a premium account or credits for this. So what else is here? See, safety, general tips, safety tips. South Korea is an extremely safe country to visit for global tours. However, they have some issues that should be addressed by people who wish to go there. Here are some of them. Racial discrimination of people that are non-Korean is actually quite common. Until 2005, people of non-Korean descent could not even serve in the military. If you are dark-skinned or with a Korean woman, verbal discrimination has a higher chance of occurring. Traffic in Korea is known to be extremely unsafe as it has some of the highest rates of traffic deaths per year. Try to avoid renting a car and stick to public transportation if possible. Natural hazards are highly unlikely, but still do occur. Typhoons and earthquakes are the most likely natural disasters to occur. Conflict with North Korea is officially at a standstill due to an armistice. Uh, however, stay up to date on current events and watch for State Department warnings. Although crime is at a very low rate in South Korea, it still happens. Keep your belongings close and keep your wallet in your front pocket to help fend off pickpocketing. So very useful, um, very informative there. Some more culture notes, emergency numbers, police. They give you all this embassy information, um, medical terminolo terminology. What is this? Yeah, this is this is this is um. Let's see, hospital directory. Busan. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what else do we have? Wi-Fi dialer. What is that? Oh, okay. This is the call to another country. I see. Um, and that's pretty much it. Let's see. Learn. Flashcards. See. Flashcards. Just the basics. Quiz mode. Number of questions. 20. Just the basics. I'm not going to go through that right now. Um, let me see, customized phrases, see, culture, adequate, 
dining guide, dining etiquette. See, be sure to take off your shoes before entering someone's home. Brush up on using chopsticks. You will earn some major bonus points if you do so. When being served, the eldest are always served first. See, this is this is good stuff. This is really good. Um, whoa, what was that? Language information. Overview, pronunciation, pro oh wow. They got prop, man, that's crazy. Wow. Korean proverbs. Don't try to cover the whole sky with the palm of your hand. Explanation. You can only cover the sky if he covers his own eyes. But the sky is still there and cannot be denied its, ex its existence. Therefore, this is a very foolish thing to do. It implies that either you are denying your past actions and cannot come to terms with yourself nor with the other person. You are not being honest to yourself and not admitting how you feel about some someone or something. You are avoiding the obvious, but you are going to have to face it one day. Very interesting. Very interesting. Basic grammar. So, uh, yeah. Wow, this is this is huh, this is amazing. This is amazing application. It's very good. What's this roaming? Yeah. So, um, let's see culture, learn. Yeah. So I'm I'm not. Let's see here. Customized phrase. What is that? Wow, that customized phrase list? Well, I would have to check that out. I'm not sure, like I said, um, I'm not sure how well, in terms of this premium thing. I don't know how much that stuff costs, but it looks like you need it if you really want to get um, everything out of the application. So, yeah. Uh, I said I was going to go through some other languages, but I don't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to introduce you guys to this application. So obviously you have to have an iPhone or um, what's the other phone? Um, wow, I'm forgetting the phone. Um, you guys know I'm talking about that phone, other phone in order to download the application. But um, yeah, uh, definitely worth checking out. Um, it could be useful for a beginner, someone who's, who's uh, planning to travel to the country. Uh, it's very informative. Some nice phrases here. And um, yeah, that is it. If this was a chat room though, Oh my God, if it had a little chat option like Hello Talk. <laughs> but anyway, um, that is, let me, let me let me click on it real quick. Maybe I could they'll show the prices on this. All right, so let's see, upgrade, phrases, tours, pack, one month, 19, three months, one year, 99. So $20 a month. So yeah, voice translator, live translator, Wi-Fi, audio lessons. Oh, okay. They're just telling you this is what you need. You need to become a premium member to use these uh, options here. That's good. So, yeah, why not? I don't blame them. You got to make some money. You, you create an application like this. You got you to gotta do something with it. So you can't always have everything for free. Not everything is free. But anyway, I'm going to conclude this video. Um, that is it. If I come across any other apps or or someone introduced any to me, I'll create a video sharing with you guys as usual. So, alrighty, guys, you have a great one, and uh, talk to you soon.